Hey, I need to see when I'm done talking. Hey, AI, how you feeling? You feeling good? Uh, yeah, I'm, I'm ready, coach. I just wanted to let you know that I've been talking with the coach and you're gonna begin some more minutes moving forward, starting tonight. Oh, for real? Yeah. Hey, thank you, coach. You've been playing well, AI. Keep it up. I will. Thanks again. Charles, my office. Let's go. Yeah, don't forget to hit that subscribe button. Also, don't forget to like the video and enjoy. What's going on, everybody? Welcome to today's video. I wanted to go through a day in the life of a slashing shot creator. I'm still working on my badges right now, but boy, posterizer is one of those badges I need ASAP. I need to body everybody. <laughs> well, we've got a minute now. Let's hear what it was like for AI in his first NBA game. I look back on it, and it was just a surreal experience, you know, uh, getting the call up, joining the team. Um, everything happened so fast, I didn't have time to, like, overthink it or overanalyze it. So it was a bit of a ride, but, I mean, I wouldn't have it any other way, given the circumstances. So since the biggest thing everybody has been asking me over Twitter is what happened to my character? Did I get bumped back down to 60 overall? I can say confidently that my character did not get kicked back to 60 overall or I did not lose my character. Now, a lot of people also been asking me, you know, why haven't I been streaming on YouTube? And man, I just want to let you guys know for the last nine months. I have been streaming on my Facebook page, so make sure you guys follow me on Facebook. Uh, my Facebook is iPod King Carter as well, just like my YouTube. But I'm showing you guys some clips today, man, of me badge grinding, getting my badges up. Now, posterizer, difficult shots, post spin technician, teardropper, tireless score, mid range that I. These are the badges that matter to me the most, as well as corner specialist. Now, I can tell you guys, man, this build that I have is one of the best builds out here. The reason for that is I can do a little bit of everything. I've been telling people that since the game has come out, I can shoot threes, I can lay up, I can dunk, I can shoot mid ranges, I can shoot contested shots, I can shoot mid range moving shots, and I can even make a few moving three pointers when I got that takeover popping. But let's go ahead and hop into the next clip. Hey, yeah. How you feeling, man? Uh, doing good, coach. Doing good? All right, well, listen, I uh, just want to let you know that I've been talking with the coach. We can begin some more minutes moving forward, starting tonight. That's great. Yeah. Y'all do my best with the time I'm giving. I know you will, man. You're doing well. Keep it up. All right, guys. So the biggest misconception that everybody thinks is you have to play on pro to grind badges. You have to play on the lower difficulties in order to even win a game. You have to play on the lower difficulties even to make a shot. You really obviously don't have to do that. What you can do is learn the new system. NBA 2K19 does not play like NBA 2K18. There are certain things that you have to do in order to score. There are certain things that you have to do to create space. Now, as you guys see right there, I've been using a lot of back down. Um, back down and then spinning for that post-spin technician is really, really big. As well as going out on a fast break and making smart decisions on the fast breaks. Now, there are two ways that you guys can break out. Now, one way is out on a rebound. Out on rebounds, you don't want to go all the way to the paint. You want to kind of stay back at about the same pace as whoever is bringing the ball up or just a little bit ahead of them because what's going to happen is the defense is just going to push all the way to the paint because their main objective is to stop the paint. Now, on this fast break, I had already been cherry picking. Now, there are two ways that you can run a fast break. You can run a fast break from up at the top of the key where you'll have a chance to get a nice dunk or a nice layup. But if you're deep in the corner three, just standing there playing defense on somebody standing in the corner, there's no way you're going to be able to get from point A to B and beat everybody on defense. What you want to do is you want to make the smart decision by saying, okay, I know I'm not going to be able to make it there. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to slow up and I'm going to call for the ball around near like maybe half court or near like the top of the three point line because nobody's going to be defending me yet. And like I told you guys, cross your defender. If your defender's on the left side, run to the right side because he's not going to be there available for help defense. And I can tell you guys right now, the CPU is not smart enough to make switches as fast as they did last year. So it's really a big exploit that you could take advantage of. Hey, Veronica, how you doing? You were cooking out there last night, Killer. Oh, thank you, thank you. So, uh, what's going on? 
I'm just, I'm bearing witness to the rise. <laughs> Look, okay, you can, uh, you can mellow a little bit with the trademarks. It's okay. Look, I, I know you want to fit in, but you don't have to fall behind. Okay, the vet's like a leader. And you have to get used to trademarks because both Foot Locker and Gatorade called to talk. About me? No, about your mom. Oh, you got Joe's. Okay. Of course about you. (laughs) They're noticing your story. They're noticing your game. People are starting to look at you, and I am telling you, America loves a comeback. Wow. So, I mean, who's first? You tell me. Where do you want to start? All right, guys. So what I've been doing is I've just been playing a game a lot. I've been putting in a lot of hours, logging a lot of games online and offline. Now, the another big misconception that people have is that, oh, well, since I can't do this, this game is trash. No, I'm, I'm literally telling you guys, man, you have to adjust. You can't just call for the ball and do what you want like last year's game. Blow buys, they don't happen as often. You know, they happen sometimes, but they don't happen as often. Snatchbacks, snatchbacks do happen. They do catch a little ankles, especially if you do have ankle breaker. But I'm telling you, man, you have to adjust. You have to set your screens. You have to come off of those passes, pulling up. You have to do a lot, man. Now, what I can tell you guys is there are times where I feel like I am unstoppable. And, you know, I feel like, oh, I'm the best to ever do this. But sometimes, you know, when I when I go back on Hall of Fame and I, and I try Hall of Fame, I say, you know what, hold on. I, I think this is it. I think I think I, this is where I belong. Now, just to let you guys know, the switches also you have to take advantage of. When you set a screen, set that screen hard. If you're setting a screen for a point guard, force that point guard to make that switch. If you can force the point guard to make the switch on you, you have an easy back down that small forward. Now, I told you guys, I am grinding badges. So a lot of shots that you guys see, they're shots that I shouldn't be taking, such as difficult shots, tear droppers, and, you know, spinning to the rack and stuff like that. But um, another thing, a lot of people is probably going to look at this score and say, man, get off pro. You're killing me. Well, just like I'm killing Ross right now, but you're killing me, iPod. Get off of pro. Just to let you guys know, this is not pro difficulty. This is All-Star, and this is Orlando. So I feel like if you're playing on All-Star and you're not doing this to Orlando, you might want to take a tutorial class on how to play 2K19. Just saying. Just saying. Now, crazy thing. Um, I played a bunch of games here, and I realized that everything is about timing. If you're playing on somebody as far as like defense goes, you definitely want to time what you do and what you do not do. Um, a lot of time you don't want to press the defender. And also another time you don't want to play like in the passing lane. Because I'm telling you, man, they will take that back door on you with no problem. The CPU this year has no problem in exploiting the way people play defense. So the way that I can say is stay about maybe two arms length away from them. And when you stay two arms length away from a a person, you kind of can dictate what they do as far as like, okay, maybe you might hit R2 and try to speed burst to the uh, passing lane to get the steal. Or you might let them catch the ball and then press them. You know what I mean? Don't play deny ball too much on 2K19. Because I'm telling you guys now, man, if 